my loves happy monday it's the first day of final book support group and i am here to run down through my tbr with you so so the first thing i'm going to do is actually change one of my books out surprise surprise if you watch my august mbr you will know that i did a spinner wheel and got a queen of gilded horns by amanda joy i then very quickly realized that my tbr is very fantasy heavy and i'm not sure that that's what i want right now this also doesn't have an audiobook and i'm not down for that i'm not physically reading this especially if i'm not in a ridiculously heavy fantasy tbr so i'm swapping that out and we are going to do a new spinner in which i have set up so let's quickly run through some of the books that i've got on here these are very romance heavy with the odd middle grade and sci-fi so we've got things we hide from the light by lucy score which is the second in the series the third one is coming out very soon we've got the finish line by kate stewart which is the third and final book in the ravenhood series we have got Murder on the Safari Star, which is the third in the Adventures and Trains series by M.G. Leonard and Sam Sedgman. And I would like to continue on with that series. That's the middle grade. We've got Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher, which is the second in this series. And I would like to continue on with that one. We have Heartless by Elsie Silver, the second in the Chestnut Spring series. And then we do have The World We Make by N.K. Jemison, which is the second and final book in this duology. So... Um, yeah, I do have some final books in there, just two, and then the rest are continuation stations, which is absolutely fine by me. There was no requirement for these to be all final books. So let's spin this wheel and find out what I'm going to be reading. I don't know why that advert is there. It's so annoying. I'm anxious. <gasps> the finish line. Okay. We're finishing a series. That's fine by me. The Finish Line by Kate Stewart is the third and final book in the Ravenhood trilogy. Let me put these on the floor. This one is following a woman whose name I can never fucking remember. Cecilia. And in the first book, Flock, she is going spending a summer with her dad who hasn't really been in her life but he has paid over the years for her well-being etc to her mum he's a very very rich man and owns a very very big company and she comes across this group of guys who deem themselves the ravenhood boys essentially and they deal with you know drugs sex money etc blah 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 and there are there are quite a few bad dudes i'm not gonna lie in the first book she has a fling with two of the guys within this um group and then by the second book everything gets turned on its head and i didn't enjoy exodus as much as flock i loved flock i didn't enjoy exodus as much so i'm intrigued to see what's going to happen with this one i won't be able to give you too much information on this because it is the third in the series and i don't want to spoil anything and the second book really does turn everything so much so on its head that if i told you anything about it it would be spoilers but yeah i'm intrigued to see how this goes it's been a hot minute since i read exodus so i'm hoping that i will remember exactly what happened by the end um and then the other books that are included on my tbr we do have bloody rose by nicholas ames which is also a final book this one was picked for me by patron who was claire so i am finally getting to this one uh kings of the wild is the first one so i'm intrigued by that one and glad to be finally getting to it then for the oldest sequel on my tbr i have this cover won't break by isabel sterling i read the first one which was uh, these witches won't burn back in 2019 i think it was it was close with this one uh kings of the wild but this one came first so either way both of these would count for that uh but yeah this one is a queer fantasy about witches and i mean excited to finally get to it. i was going to take this one off and swap it out for a romance as well but i really do i should get to that one by now and then i also have witch hat talia as well just to break it down a little bit and give myself something a bit a little bit of ease uh, this is volume six i read volume four for final book support group i'm going to be picking up volume five but it's downstairs so i've just picked up volume six to show you i may continue on and carry on reading them because i do have up to volume 10 i think if i remember correctly so i may carry on with some of these throughout the week but we will see but um yeah other than that oh i also have this vicious darling i think it's called by nikki st crow which is the third book in the 
I've forgotten the name of the series now, but I'll show a picture of it here. It's on order, it's on Scribd, so I'm borrowing it from Scribd because there was a prompt for borrow a book, whether it be from your library or from Scribd or Libby or whatever other audio thing you can use. Kindle Unlimited worked as well. So I'm going to be listening to that as well. I knew there was five books. So this is now my TBR instead of Queen of Gilded Horns because I don't want to physically read fantasy right now. And uh, these two are heavy fantasy. This one will is obviously a chunky one. This is fantasy. The final, uh, sorry, the finish line is not. And I, if I remember correctly, this Fisher's Darling isn't either. I don't think it is anyway. It's a Peter Pan retelling if you were interested. A very smutty one at that as well. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to start off with. I will probably try and start something a little bit small. Maybe Witch Hat Italia, maybe get this Vicious Darling done and dusted because otherwise I will forget about it. I could, if Scribd allows me to do so, I could finish that series off and read the fourth one as well because the audiobooks of them are only like five hours on one time speed. So sped up, I can get through them in a couple of hours. So I might try and do that, but I'm also thinking about maybe trying to tackle this straight up as well just to get it out of the way done and dusted so we'll see but either way i'll keep you posted am i confident i'm going to get through all of this not necessarily no uh it's a pretty busy week so we'll see what happens it's already five past twelve i've got patreon sprint starting at 12 30 and then final book support group sprint starting at six so it's a busy day of sprinting today and then i'm going to be doing some sprints tomorrow at 10 a.m uh, for a few hours and then I'm back off to Andy's because I've only just got back this morning. I'm back off to Andy's Tuesday night, Wednesday night, back Wednesday night, back home Thursday after work Wednesday and Thursday and then I have the writing retreat live show. I also need to finish that. I have two hours of the audiobook left of that so I need to get through that as well today um, just to make sure that it's done and dusted. I don't want to be leaving it to the last minute to finish that off. So I need to try and get through that today as well. So we'll see what happens. I think I'm going to try and get through that while I'm on Patreon sprints. And then once I'm on final book support group sprints, I will, if I've not already, I will start my first book. So I'll come back to you, let you know when I've started. Maybe when I'm around 50 pages in, just give you an introduction into the book, etc. But I'm going to go because I've got some tidying up to before I start these sprints at half 12. And I will check back in with you and I've got another update for you. into this sweater for an instagram post earlier on today and then again for well not again i didn't change again but sorry just push my laptop back that you're standing on so that i'm not too close to the camera um yeah changed into the sweater for an instagram picture and then just left it on because final book support group sprints are on now i'm on with becca we've got four and a half minutes left of this sprint but i wanted to let you know what i decided to pick up first my b-roll will tell you i picked up which hat talia five first i did not in fact do that i was intending to do so 
to get a sense of achievement but my patrons recommended I pick up this cover and won't break by Isabel Sterling because it's a fast paced read and it will give me even more of a sense of achievement if I can finish this this evening which I still think I can do so it's currently 10 past 7 and I am 116 pages in um, I've spent two sprints on this the last sprint with my Magic Monday patron sprints and then the first sprint with final book support group so that's not too bad in two sprints which is pretty good um, this one follows Hannah Walsh who is a witch and in the first book she was in a relationship uh, with this girl and is obviously queer and they she ended up in this coven and unfortunately someone did try and eliminate the coven and burn all the witches alive. Uh, in this one we are continuing on with Hannah she is just my bookmarks upside down she is just trying to get on with her life and move on she's got this new girlfriend called Morgan and she's just trying to get on with her life but it looks like uh, there are more problems I can't tell you too much more than that without spoiling the first book um, it's fine I'm not having the time I was with These Witches Don't Burn, but when I think about it, that was back in 2019. So that was four years ago. Um, and I was reading a lot more YA fantasy back then and enjoying it a lot more than I do now. So it's to be expected. And it's been so long since I read These Witches Don't Burn. I don't even know if I would enjoy it as much now as I did back then. So I don't know, we'll see. This might be more like a three star book, like a middle of the road. I'm just going to carry on with it and finish it off. I don't know if I'll get anything else read tonight, but if I get the chance to do so, I think I'll pick up Witch Hat Atelier Volume 5. Uh, something else I am currently reading for a different video, which will come out before this one, is One Piece for uh, Gav Recommends Me Manga video, which is fine for me to tell you about now because it will have already come out. If you want to check that out, I'll leave it up here. This is the last manga that I need to get to for this vlog. I'm currently, I've read volume one, but volumes two and three are also in this omnibus and I'm reading the whole thing. So if I decided to continue, which I need to finish by Sunday. So if I, if need be, I'm gonna, well, I, there is a need be. There is no if about it. I have to pick this up. So I will probably end up picking this up and having it semi not quiet part of this vlog. I'm not gonna tell you too much about it. I might just tell you that I've read another volume of this. I've read another volume of this and finished it. And that's it. If you want my full thoughts on it again, I will let you know in this vlog. Uh, but this will also count to final book support group as continuation station because i have read the first volume now two and three are continues so i did just want to mention that very quickly but i will be reading this as well this week just not giving you my full thoughts on it because it's very different video uh, i've let myself get to the last minute down to the wire with that one so yeah but this cover won't break so far it's going okay i am going to continue on with this hopefully finish it tonight i've got two and a half hours left on this one uh so around three sprints uh and we will at least get three sprints three more sprints in for this evening so i will finish this one this evening and then i may go up actually i probably will pick up one piece over which hat talia this evening just to try and get moving on that but yeah that's where i'm up to just wanted to come on and update you let you know how i'm getting on what book i picked up first that's how it's going Howdy. It's pretty late on Monday. I just wanted to give you an update before I was going to bed. It is 11.50. I stopped sprints maybe an hour ago. Maybe less than that. Maybe more like 40 minutes ago. Sorry, my bed's knackered. Um, I'm getting a new one when my room's done. Uh, so yeah, I finished sprints a while ago but i have finished my first book now for final book support group and that was this cover won't break by isabel sterling i ended up giving this one three stars i think i already mentioned this but i think if i was to read these witches don't burn today i wouldn't enjoy it as much as i did the first time i read it i don't read a lot of ya anymore and i just found this one to be mediocre and just okay which is a shame because it's been on my tbr for so long and i've been anticipating it for so long i think that's the reason i've been putting it off um so yeah it was it's a shame it wasn't as much of a win as i hoped it was i do love these covers 
um, for both. These witches don't burn and this coven won't break. I think they're so beautiful, but I do think I'm probably gonna end up getting rid of these to make some more space on my shelves. I'm having to be very brutal with my books right now and if I'm not enjoying them I can't keep them just because they look pretty. I don't have the space to do so. Um, I, my shelves are already stacked and I don't want to get to a point, speaking of stacks, sorry about that Din, speaking of stacks I don't want to get to a point where I'm stacking books on top of each other just to make room because I don't, just on my shelves, this is my personal opinion with my shelves specifically, I don't like the way it looks. I don't mind it on the odd shelf, I've got some uh, V Schwab stacked up and I do have some manga stacked up. I don't mind it on the odd shelf but in general I don't particularly like it. It, make, it, it does things to my brain and I can't deal with it. <laughs> I'm very picky with my shelves and they need to work for me and the way they work for me is that everything is stood up. So it's a personal opinion and that's okay, we can have our own opinions on it. Um, they look really pretty on somebody else's shelves and I don't mind it on somebody else's shelves or just for me it doesn't work. So I'm trying to stay away from stacking books. Uh, but yeah, I need to be therefore quite brutal with the books I'm keeping and letting go of. So I actually think I am going to end up on haul in this one. But yeah, three stars. It was just okay. I didn't love it. It was fine. I don't know if it would have been a better rating had I read These Witches Don't Burn and then followed it by this. Like pretty quickly could done a reread of These Witches Don't uh, These Witches Don't Burn and then followed it up with this straight after or what i don't know but yeah i just wasn't that fussed by this to be honest so three stars for that but it's done now that is my veteran sequel i've done it done so i have brought up one piece with me which i very briefly mentioned to you earlier i am reading this for gav recommends me manga video i'm not going to give you any thoughts or anything on this or tell you what it's about i just want to let you know that i am reading it during this week to get it done and dusted for sunday when the vlog's going to go up so I am currently up to, I've finished volume one. I'm going to try and read up to volume two now. I don't know how far that is, to be honest. I am pretty tired. And I've got more sprints happening tomorrow morning at 10.30 and I could do with a shower. So, oh, there we go. 413, what page am I on now? 219, so it's just shy of 200 pages. But to be fair, there's not a ridiculous amount on the page so i'm going to try and read the second volume of this now and then if i'm feeling okay i might try and do about 50 pages of bloody rose just to get me into it because tomorrow i will stall on starting this if i'm not careful um i'll try and get through everything else before i even pick this up because i'm not excited by it i'm not gonna lie i don't particularly want to read this uh, but there are two reasons why I need to do so. First of all, it's a final book, and second of all, it was picked by one of my patrons out of my patron pot, so I don't really have a great deal of choice. If I'm not enjoying it, I can DNF it. Um, there's no rules against that, but I've got to at least give it a go. And if I don't do it now, when will I? So I need to at least give this a bash. So I'm going to try and make a start on this. My back's killing because I've been hunched over the computer for the last, I don't know, 10 hours <laughs> that's not far off being accurate actually it's more like nine and a half hours maybe nine because I took about an hour out but I still sat on the sofa for a good portion of that uh so yeah I need to get started on that as well I don't know whether to prioritize that 50 pages and then do one piece um I might do that because I tend to find that when I'm physically reading I do get sleepier and when I'm audio booking not so much because I'm scrolling through my phone at the same time. So I think I might do the 50 pages of this first. Is there like a decent chapter break where I can get up to? Oh, About page 56 I'll probably try and get to chapter 7. See how it goes. I'm gonna allow it at least 100 pages. Uh, but yeah, I will update you in the morning and let you know how I got on and what my plans are for tomorrow. I've got sprints with Gav from 10.30 a.m. And I'm looking forward to seeing his face because I haven't seen him in a while and I miss him. Same with Becca today. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go. But first day, one book down. Very happy with myself. Um, 
I'll check back in with you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Tuesday. It is 10 past 10 and uh, apologies for that. I'm having work done on the house. Um, I'm having a chimney removed and a chimney replaced. So we're just gonna have to put up with that today. So I just wanted to come on and give you an update from last night. I didn't read any more of One Piece and I didn't pick up which hat Talia. I got really, really tired. Um, so I didn't continue on with this. I think I'm gonna focus on this today. Um, try and get this finished because I really need to get it done for that video so that I can edit the video and get it uploaded. So that's my aim today. It is continuation station, so it still counts for final book support group. I was kind of hoping to have that done and dusted before final book started, to be honest, but I haven't managed it, so it is what it is. But I also started Bloody Rose last night by Nicholas Ames, which is the second in the Kings of the Wild series. I think, I don't know what the series is called, to be honest. Um, but, does it say in the beginning of this book? Probably not, no. Um, but, yeah, I started this last night. I got to page 75, so I, went, I got further than I thought I was going to. I was honestly just laying in bed, um, scrolling my phone and just listening to this. We are following Tam, who is a young girl. I think she's 19. She reads a lot younger than that. She reads quite YA, but she's 19 and she works in a pub in this town her dad is quite strict her mother has passed away and he's terrified of losing her and she works in this pub in this town and then all of these uh mercenaries roll in mercenary bands roll into town one of which is led by bloody rose who is the daughter of the main guy in kings of the wild uh, so we have come across her before only briefly towards the end of kings of the wild and a couple of the guys from Bloody Rose's band actually um, ask Tam if she wants to join the band and become the bard. And she is shooketh. She's, she's so shooketh because she looks up to Bloody Rose a lot. Anywho, she convinces her dad to let her go. Uh, he's very much of the opinion that if you're going don't ever come back, don't come and visit me, it's better if I just assume you're alive and I don't know any different. Please don't come back home, don't come and visit me, I just need to assume you're alive, unless you're coming back for good. So, she's now out and about with the band and she's being their bad and she's learning a lot about the life. Um, obviously it's quite dangerous, they are mercenaries, they get into fights a lot and they're up to no good, but yeah, it's all right so far i honestly couldn't tell you i'm not gonna lie i couldn't tell you anything that they've run into so far i was zoning out a little bit and i think it's an easy listen for sure there's nothing too complicated going on i do like nicholas ames writing style and i would potentially pick up from him in the future but i just don't know if i care which is concerning it's funny but i just don't know if i care Tam is reading quite young. She's very naive um, and she's gone on this trip, I think, thinking that it's going to be like this fantastic, incredible, amazing trip and a once in a lifetime opportunity. And it is, but it's also terrifying and dangerous. And I don't think she's thought about that. So yeah, I don't know. I'm going to continue on with it for a bit longer before I make a decision on what to do with it. But I think going the fact that I've gone into it negatively as well has not helped the situation. But we'll see what happens with this. I don't know. I just don't know if I care. I enjoyed Kings of the Wild. I gave it four stars. I thought it was a good time. But I think what I liked about that book and I think the thing that made it what it was for me was the fact that these were mercenaries in the first one. They're mercenaries that come out of retirement to save Bloody Rose because she's been kidnapped. So I think that's what made it for me. I like the whole thought of older people coming back into what it is that they got out of um, to do one last, one last um, hurrah, you know? And I think that's what I liked about that one. And I just don't know if this is gonna have the same effect on me because that's not the case in this. This is a younger band that aren't retired. The mercenaries are all much younger in age not massively younger they're like probably i don't know 20s 30s but the mercenaries in kings of the wild were retired men 
um, and this is very much a different type of mercenary band so I just don't know if it's going to have the same effect on me I don't know we'll see but my aim today is to try and get through one piece again I'm not going to give you specific updates on that because um, I might give you my rating ever so slightly at the end for it but because the video for Gav Recommends Me Manga will have already gone up at that point so there'll be no spoilers but it is for specifically another video so again if you want to check that out I'll leave it link to it in the description box down below but it'll have been up here as well a couple times so feel free to do so uh so yeah so we're gonna see what i can manage today i don't know if i'm going to andy's tonight i usually do on a tuesday but i just don't know if i'm going to if i don't go to his i'll get way more reading done but if i do i won't i still need to wash my hair the lads were here really early this morning uh, a lot earlier than i anticipated i got up at well i woke up at half eight I didn't get out of bed till nine because I started heard, hearing them banging about outside, getting stuff out of the van. So I intended to have a shower this morning, <laughs> but they were here dead early and I didn't know if they would need to come into the house, which they did to plug an extension lead in. So um, it's a good job I was up, to be honest. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. So I will check back in with you when I've got another update for you. All right, we're a few hours in two hours 14 minutes i have read volume two of one piece um and i liked it it was good so i'm gonna move on to volume three now and hopefully finish that off and then i can move on to something else i'm still really not in the mood for bloody rose i'm not gonna lie i may i may listen to their vicious dial and try and get that done today as well but we'll see i'll see how i'm feeling when i finish this um, but yeah, I'm going to carry on with this and read the third volume and get this finished and then I can get that vlog wrapped up. I just nearly hit myself in the face. Get that vlog wrapped up, but I'm going to carry on with this. We've got 34 minutes left of this sprint, so hopefully I make a decent dent in the last volume of this and I will check back in with you when I've finished it and let you know my final ratings on each of these volumes. And yeah, that's it. Thursday I entirely forgot to update you on Tuesday night and then again yesterday um, I was at work yesterday anyway so I did no reading yesterday so I didn't have much to tell you but I it's Thursday morning it is currently where is my phone it's currently seven minutes past nine in the morning I've been awake since quarter to six and he went to work in his room and um I wasn't able to fall asleep. I had a shit night's sleep last night, so I have a two terrible night's sleep now. And I've been up and editing and uploading some videos and sorting out my schedule and some TBR stuff and all of that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, I am... Um, update on my reading. That's what I need to do. I did finish One Piece, so I read two volumes of One Piece, volume two and three which will count for continuation station anyway, so that's fine. But they were for a, another video that is already up by now, which is Gav Recommends Me Manga, which I'll leave up here. And if I remember to do so in the description box down below, I enjoyed those and overall it gave them four stars. So I've had a good time with them. So, so far at this point, what have I read? At this point, I have read This Coven Won't Break and two volumes of One Piece. I have started, I did start obviously Bloody Rose. I haven't continued with that. I'm honestly not in the mood and I think I'm potentially gonna DNF that series. Um, and then I have this morning started Their Vicious Darling by Nikki St. Crow and I've got just over an hour left. So I'm hoping to finish that this evening. 
um and i still have left witch hat talia volume five so i'm hoping to read this this evening as well and then i've also got the finish line by kate stewart god that took a while i didn't want to try and google it i wanted to try and figure it out on my own the the finish line by kate shoot which is a final book so i will probably end the video on that that will probably be my last read for this vlog i don't know we'll see uh but yeah i don't think i'm gonna carry on with bloody rose i have brought it with me but i'm just not in the mood and i don't want to pick it up so i haven't gotten any further than the 75 pages that i started on so i'm probably just going to end up dnf in that i don't i'm not in the mood and i don't think i'm ever going to pick it up again this was like my chance to do so and i don't think i'm going to manage it so there is that but yeah today i do have work so i will be going to my brother's soon and then i have a busy evening it's a busy day overall i've got work i've been up since daft o'clock in the morning i've got work now and then well when I finish this and then this evening I've got the literature live show for the writing retreat at half past six uh for approximately an hour with Lexi and Katie and then I do have final book support group sprints from quarter to eight uh for a few hours with Jade so yeah I'm hoping to finish this these vicious their vicious darling struggle their vicious darling and then also the which had Talia volume as well. And then maybe the finish line, I'm gonna at least start it tomorrow. I may even continue on with this series and just finish it off. Um, I have one more book left in the series, which is The Fey Princess. Um, so I may listen to that straight away after their Vicious Darlings, but I'll come back and update you on that, let you know what I decide to do with that uh, later on sorry for the traffic the window is open it is going to be warm today so i'm going to change out of this sweater and put on a t-shirt i think because it's going to be a hot one today apparently and i am now going to bounce because i need to get myself packed up and ready to go to my brother's for work and get the day i was about to say get the day side i've already done several hours of work this morning <laughs> it's going to be a long day <laughs> let's put it that way i need to make a stop at the shop on the way to my brother's so i can get a can of monster because i desperately need one i tried to go to the shop across the road this morning about seven o'clock but it wasn't open so yay for that so i'll check back in with you when i've got an update for you probably later on this evening once sprints have started and maybe i've finished uh, their vicious darling so yeah i will check back in with you then <laughs> Come on, throw it at me. Oh. <laughs> throw it at me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. We had to do I knew you were gonna do that. We had to deal with normal balloons. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> He's just standing on him. <laughs> Throw one at Daddy. Today and I have not updated you in a couple of days. Um, it's been a bit of a wild couple of days, I'm not gonna lie. We the sprints that we did on Thursday, me and Jade, apologies for the car alarm and the traffic. Uh, the sprints we did me and Jade on Thursday were ended up being chatty sprints, honestly, for about three and a half, four hours. 
We weren't really in the mood, either of us, to be doing any reading and I think the chat really enjoyed it, which is great news because we were consistent with our numbers. I thought they would start dropping once we realised we weren't reading, but they didn't, which is fab. Um, and I haven't done much reading since, so I do need to finish their Vicious Darling. I was thinking about DNFing it because I don't think I'm going to finish the last one in the series because I just don't care. <laughs> Um, we'll have to see but I still have about an hour left with that and I think I might just finish that and get it done and dusted and then it's finished um, and I do still have Witch Hat Italia Volume 5 which I think I'm going to try and read now me and Andy have been watching a film and he's probably going to put another one on so I might try and read this while watching that movie uh, whatever that is so this one follows Coco who is a young girl and something happens pretty early on in the first volume of this series she's always wanted to be a witch and then because of something that happens with her family she ends up going with this um, guy who is a kind of like a witch scholar if you like he's training three other girls um and he ends up taking coco with him and seeing if he can train her up to be a witch and several things keep happening to them throughout this process so i'm going to continue on with this this is volume five i think i've just mentioned that and then also i did start ever so slightly last night the finish line by kate shoot which is the final one in the ravenhood cycle ravenhood the ravenhood series not cycle I've got my brain on the Raven cycle, I don't know why. And I made it to page 85, so I might try and continue on with this as well today at some point, but we will see. So yeah, that's where I am at the moment, along with Their Vicious Darling as well by um, Nikki St. Crow. So that's what's happening. So I'm gonna go and get some more reading done and I will try and keep you updated as often as I can. With this, I only came in to get my cardio and I thought I should probably update my vlog, otherwise it's going to be a really shit vlog for the week. <laughs> so I'm going to get these red and I, you will have seen a clip. I did nip two Waterstones as well this morning with Andy. Well, he went to the bank, I went into Waterstones because what better place to wait for him while he's nipping in the bank? I did pick up a couple of books, but I haven't brought them in with me. So if I remember tomorrow when I get home, I will let you know what I got from Waterstones. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go get a little bit more reading done and I will check back in with you and I've got another update for you. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone there being awards? Mm -hmm. Hello, good evening. It is Sunday and I've got six minutes until my sprints with patrons start. I haven't had the chance to do any more sprints since Thursday for final book support group. I have some unboxings by the way. Um, it's just been a really busy weekend to be honest. So. Yeah, that is a shame, but I am winding down the weekend with some sprints with patrons, very chill, and then a moon night watch along for the Marvel watch along that I do with my patrons. But I thought I would open these books with you um, as soon as they're here. I did finish Their Vicious Darling last night. I gave it two and a half stars. It was just okay. I think I will finish it off just to wrap up another series for my stats at the end of the year. And just to, you know, say that it's done. I might as well, it's one book left. Whether or not I do that today, I don't think I will. I actually think what I'm gonna do this evening while we do have some sprints, I'm not gonna get it finished, but is to make some more progress in the finish line by Kate Stewart. Um, again, it would be nice to wrap this series up. So maybe this will be finished tomorrow if that is the case if i'm getting it looks like i'm getting to a point where i could finish it tomorrow what i will do is come back uh on this and just wrap this vlog up with me telling you my full thoughts on that but from illumicrate i do have nimona this is so heavy um this is the illumicrate exclusive edu edition with sprayed edges it is also signed by nd stevenson 
and oh that's pretty underneath the dust jacket i've never read nimona i've listened to the audiobook on script because there is an audiobook for it on script but i've never physically read the graphic novel so i'm excited to have a copy of this one um to add to my shelf so very happy about that i'm to and I'm throwing. I also have this massive box from um, Ember Stag Candles. I think, if I remember correctly, these are fourth wing candles. It's a massive uh, bundle of candles, and I'm really excited. Uh, I'm to and I'm throwing here between what I'm telling you and what I'm showing you. So while I unbox this, um, instead of just cutting it out and you know running out of time before I have chance to tell you everything, I might as well just tell you that I also finished yesterday. Uh, Witch Hat Italia Volume 5. I did give that one four stars. It's great to continue on with that series. And I think if it wasn't for the fact that I would just like to finish the uh, finish line, I would just carry on with that series for the rest of the evening until uh, the live show starts for the watch along and move on to that then. So um, I am enjoying that series, having a good time with it, and I will be continuing on. I do have up to volume 10. I think volume 11 comes out later on this year. So, yeah, I finished two things last night, which was great. Uh, we do have a couple of, like, a thank you note and then a scratch to reveal your prize, which is cute. And then in here... Oh, my God, we've got some fourth wing magnets which are really really cute and would look really nice as well on my tbr cart which is adorable so i'm definitely going to put those on there and then we have a i'm not sure what that is this is it's just got a couple stamps on it how long have i got two minutes can we get this unboxed in two minutes without rushing <gasps> it's a bookmark a wing leader bookmark i entirely forgot what came in this box so i'm very excited because it, well, we ordered it back in june i think it was like a pre-order thing um so this does say wing leader i hope that's showing up okay like so it is clear it's on plastic and it's got a tassel which i think is so cute that's like my third fourth wing candle uh, bookmark now as well uh, and then we've got some stickers to match the magnets as well, which is cute. And then we do have the candles. I can't remember how many are in here, but it looks like a lot. And I am not sorry about it one bit. I should be. It's not focusing on me anymore. Hello. I should be. I have a bazillion candles, most of which are from Becca. But um, yeah, I'm not sorry. I needed fourth wing candles, you know that you gotta do what you gotta do so this is the 10 candle i know exactly who you and what you are and it looks like so nice i don't know if it smells of anything specifically i can't smell anything specifically but that is okay and then we have the violet candle you're really a violent little thing aren't you this is black currant tonkin uh, praline, orange blossom and hand poured vegan coconut soya candle. Let's give it a smell. Oh, that smells really nice. This one, let me just check if it does say on the bottom. Oh, it does. It says cedar wood, embers, precious woods. That one's quite faint on the scent, but that's all right. My live show should be going live now. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more candles to open. I got them all. Don't with me because I cannot with myself. Then we have Segale Dragons Always Know. And this one is Ginger and Orange Fire. Oh, that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I should have done an unboxing for this on Instagram. God damn it. Then we have Chronic Illness Rep, Strawberry, Blackberry, Raspberry and Peach. Not all strength is physical. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. I love that one. I do love my sweeter scented candles. Coconut and vanilla is my favourite combo, but um, I do love my sweeter scented candles. Just chucking this wrapping on the floor. 
Then we have Widers, <laughs> Jonathan Wass, Riders Quadrant, Smoke Chocolate, Vanilla and Tonka. A dragon without its rider is a tragedy. A rider without its dragon is dead. This is really cute with a cute little dragon charm as well. I love the charms. Oh, that's nice. Nice. Then we have Andara, I'm Proud You're Mine, Vanilla and Sweet Cinnamon. Nice, nice. Then we have Zayden. Uh, now even your nickname. Now earn your nickname and try your best to kill me. Peppermint, Vanilla and Leather. Oh, that is a nice combo. Okay, very surprised. The peppermint really comes through. Very surprised. That is really nice. Not that I didn't, you know, not that I doubted it, but I was just intrigued to see how those um, flavours would come together. Those scents, not flavours. We're not eating them. Then we've got Empyrean Grapefruit Sage Bergmont Salt. Uh, the dragons are currently holding a meeting of the Empyrean, their leadership. Nice, subtle, but nice. And then last, but by no means least. I wonder who this would be. Who, what have we got missing? Ah, Basgaith War College. Jasmine Sandalwood, Ode and Orange. The weak don't survive here. Another little dragon charm on there as well. Nice. Lush. I'm excited. That was a great haul. Um, fantastic. So, yeah, very excited to have all of those. I just thought I would open them up with you. That took longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, but, yeah, very, very excited for all of the little bits as well. The stickers and the bookmark and the magnets. Um, and those two cute little bits as well. So, yeah. I'm going to go because I really need to get these sprints started. I'm now four minutes late, although it doesn't look like there's anyone here anyway, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep you updated. Check back in with you when I've made some more progress in the finish line. And that's everything for now. Good morning, team. It is currently Wednesday and I'm here to wrap this vlog up. Um, I said to you yesterday that I was going to try and get through more of the finish line. It didn't work out that way. <laughs> Uh, I read another chapter uh, and got to page 96 so I'm gonna do my best to continue on with this the rest of the month and finally get it finished. I don't really want to put it back on the shelf with the bookmarking or take the bookmark out and have to start again at some point but I don't know if I will be able to fit this in. I've got so many other books I need to read this month so we'll see what happens but um, this was my result let's go through it very quickly so the first thing i did finish was this coven won't break by isabel sterling which wrapped up this series and i did give this one three stars if i remember correctly um it was fine i just you know i've moved away from ya quite a lot and I think at the time when I read These Witches Don't Burn, I really, really enjoyed it. If I read it today, maybe I wouldn't. I don't know. I'm obsessed with these covers and it makes me really sad to get rid of them, but I need the space on my shelves. I've been through this with you. I finished it. I wrapped up the series. Good job. Three stars. Then I did make the decision to DNF Bloody Rose. I just don't care at all i've got no desire to come back to this book even at a later date so i am gonna take the bookmark and the note out sorry about that claire um she did put it on into my patron jar i don't know whether it was a case that she wanted to see whether or not i would enjoy it or whether it was to try and force me to read the book because it's been on my shelf so long but i have since kings of the wild was here i've now replaced it with malice they're gonna be unhauled um but yeah dnf on that one it's wrapped up another series, so, you know, win-win. 
month-ish. Then I did read volumes two and three of One Piece, which I have mentioned a bazillion times in this vlog, but was part of another video. But I didn't quite finish it before Final Book Support Group started, so I did read it as part of Continuation Station. Four stars for both of the volumes, four stars for the omnibus overall. Really enjoyed it, had a good time. Then I did read Their Vicious Darling by Nikki St. Crow, which is the third book in the Vicious Boys series. Vicious Lost Boys? I don't know what the series is called. It's the third book. The final one is out. It is The Fae Princess. And I think I am going to read that one. I don't know if I gave you a conclusion to what I thought on this, but I gave it two and a half stars if I gave half stars. I was losing my rag, I really didn't care too much and I was at a point, I think I already mentioned it earlier on in this vlog, but I was at a point where I was like, do I just DNF this? And then I was like, I've got an hour left, let's just finish it off. And I did, I wasn't gonna read the last one, but it's literally five hours on audio, which would be, you know, a two and a half speed. It would be way less than that and I think it's just best if I get it finished. There was something that did happen right at the end of this one that I am intrigued to know where it goes from here. I think the thing I struggle with the most with this with this series is that I've read them so far apart. So I think there's a lot of characters that you're following and because I'm only following on audiobook I don't have a physical copy in front of me at all whether that be on Kindle or physical. Uh, there are so many characters that we're following that I do lose my way a little bit. I've forgotten who's related to who and where our Wendy is, who isn't called Wendy, I've forgotten what she's called. Winnie, Winnie darling. Um, I've forgotten, you know, I'm losing my place a little bit with the characters and it's a struggle. So the plot itself I am struggling with. There is one thing that has packed spiked my interest though at the end of this one that I did just mention that I that I know what I'm doing with that <laughs> and I know what's ha like I know the general gist so I'm intrigued to see where that plot point goes but everything else I've lost my way a little bit with it I think because again I've left them so far apart I think if I'd read them back to back I'd be okay but I think I'm gonna again try and get to the last one the Fae Princess before the end of the month and just get it done dusted and get it boxed off so there was that one as well then I did read Witch Hat Talia volume 5 I really enjoy this series I had a good time with it gave it four stars and then I did start the finish line by Kate Stewart and I got 96 pages in. Again, I think I've left my time period between these books very far apart and we are following several different characters. Our main character has a relationship with several different guys out of the same group of people and again i kind of lost my way a little bit with it i think i'm back on it now but this one does follow several time jumps and i don't want to get to a point where i'm putting a bookmark in it because i will have to start it again um if i don't come back to it soon so i would like to try and get back to this as soon as possible before the end of the month but i do have other priorities i need to get to for other videos so we'll see whether or not that happens uh but in general I did read one, two, three, four, five books. I DNF'd one and I got part way through another one. So I didn't do too bad. Overall, I finished two series. The DNF on Bloody Rose counts. Um, and I made progress in th three, four more. So I'm not mad. I think it went okay. It could have gone better. I didn't do a great deal of reading over the weekend. Um, it could have gone better but you know I've gotten rid of two series off of my shelves now because I'm unhauling both of these which has made some more room so that's great news and I've made progress in some other series that I am enjoying right now so that's also good news and generally I think it went okay I'm a little bit sad I didn't get more sprints in um, I think as the week went on I just got more and more tired I had a really really bad sleep last week just in general like the whole week was a bad sleep <laughs> and I was really struggling mentally to just keep going with literally everything my life in general not just final book support group but my life um there was lots of things going on I had lots of balls in the air I'm starting on the back room now to start progressing with that room the chimney was coming out last week that was really stressful um I have a 
opportunity with Trove Trip coming up and I was in the midst of being very excited about that and I think in general a little bit anxious and stressed as well about moving on to the next stage. It's just excitement now in all honesty. Um, and if you would like to know more about the Trove Trip, I, I do have information in my highlights on Instagram about that. Um, we are moving on to the next stage so I don't want to push it too much right here because I don't know where I'm going to be up to when this video goes up on Wednesday but in general we are moving on to the next stage and planning the trip we're hopefully looking at going to New York City so if you would like to know more information about that do keep checking on the highlights on my Instagram I will keep you posted probably on the community page on here as well um, but I am super freaking hyped and I actually cannot wait so yeah if you're interested in coming on a trip with me to New York City next year later on next year um keep your eyes peeled because I am hyped but all of that's been going on it was just a generally it just became very busy week and I lost my way with it completely mentally and physically as well so yeah but overall it was a really good week I'm very grateful to Becca Gavin Jade for joining me on sprints even though mine and Jade's didn't end up becoming sprints I should probably change the thumbnail for that and the title for it as well to just chatty live show um but yeah I had a reasonably good time I don't know when the next one of this is going to come because I was gonna do October but October is spooky season there's already a million and one readathons in October and I'm thinking of actually just making the last one in November towards the end of November as like the last hoorah for the year I don't think anybody's gonna be interested in doing one in December December's a really busy month anyway everyone's winding down for Christmas and um the new year etc so I think November will be the next round probably but yeah, I will keep you posted on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. So keep your eyes peeled for that also. And I hope you have enjoyed this round. Let me know in the comments down below if you took part. How far did you get? What did you manage to complete? Did you complete any series? What did you manage to do? Chat to me in the comments down below and I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.